right. So you set a goal for 2021 and I don't know if it's moving a lot, but it is on my end. So welcome to my channel. I am finally filming like a vlog style. So much has been going on that I actually need to update you guys. So I set a goal of like doing one video per week and the month of January just kind of like, like it just, I don't know. So today is February 6th, 12 o'clock. I'm actually heading to a photo shoot with my uh, cousin. I'll leave her information in the description below. She is amazing. If you're in the Orlando area, if you ever need someone in the Orlando area, she is one to go to. So today I am doing a photo shoot with her at this amazing place downtown Orlando called Wall Crawl. So if you guys live in the Orlando area or if you ever come to Florida to visit, maybe after the pandemic, because Floridians out here don't care and our government doesn't care. Oh, did I actually say that? Yes, I did. Make sure to go check them out. It's an amazing thing. It only costs like $25 per person. So obviously I paid for her ticket. If you don't have a photographer, actually they have one on site you can get for additional fee. So I'm doing this photo shoot um, just to kind of like rebrand myself because I'm no longer doing event design. So there's an update. So it is Friday, October, I think it's the 16th. Friday, October 16th and I have a baby shower set up tomorrow for one of my oldest clients. I think, all right, first I think I need to get a grip of this camera or phone. Um, I think I am not going, I have to kind of stop doing designs. And so that way I focus on my online business because when I'm doing designs for events, it kind of takes... I don't know these are my thoughts it kind of takes a lot of time and as a ceo you have to make sure that you're optimizing your time so i don't know i sometimes i'm like i can't do back-to-back -back events and try to help you guys run your own business on how to start it so sometimes you have to make sacrifices even income sacrifices to really know who you're trying to target and working towards that business that you want to be successful so if it's your event business obviously you don't want to take every sale because you don't want to deal with cheap people you don't want to deal with headaches and for me events take a lot of time and it's time away from the business that i do want to conduct which is helping you guys so a lot of it's um still contemplating i've turned down a few events this month to fully focus on this online business even though i would have been making money with the other ones if i wasn't in my nine to five i would have taken them on so that is the great news that i have so far and look at me recording when people are walking all around me i used to be real shy before but now i don't care so i finally cut out my event designing my balloon business to really go full throttle in my event coaching business because I want to help you guys <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys some updates because where I left you guys which was on New Year's Eve with my balloon garland and my welcome my new welcome so that was part of like the whole rebranding goal and stuff like that here's what happened so we're gonna take it back a few months December was probably one of the worst months for me personally. I won't get into too much detail just because certain things you gotta just keep to yourself. You know, the new year happens and I'm like, you know what? I'm starting to reflect. I'm telling my family, I'm like, I can't sit here and go into 2021 with the same thing. So I made a new subscriber video because I really wanted to shift my entire what I'm known for and I wanted to get away from the how-to tutorials right for my balloon garlands to fully going into event business. Now I had announced it on my Instagram to so my Instagram fam. We're like, oh my God, we're so excited. You're like the only one who really talks about the business side. So I was like, cool. I'm glad I have a support system because I they couldn't 
come away from this like I can't do both I have to choose one and I have to practice what I preach with you guys because just like in business when I'm telling people choose one design you really have to choose one area of focus in your business too I couldn't be a balloon stylist taking on clients and be an event designer coach so I ended up I got tested right there was this woman who was probably like almost hour and a week hour and a half away from me and she wanted to book me and she was like she hit me up in december she's like i have an event in february but i'm scared you're gonna get booked up i was like no just hit me up but at that time i didn't think i would be shifting my um my business and long story short she ends up hitting me up in january and mind you i already was like i'm not doing balloons anymore with anyone um besides maybe family i ended up telling her i can't do it she was like well what if I come to you it would have been an $800 job and I said no I turned down $800 now some of you might probably look at me like just saying are you crazy I promise I'm not crazy <laughs> and in fact I tell my event designers that I do coach in my coaching program that sometimes you have to start saying no to say yes to more so January came and I vowed, I was like, you know what, that's it. I'm going to do this coaching business. I'm going to put it out there. Out of six people I got in front of, four of them booked. So when I tell you, honey, when your mind is right, you can literally build whatever you want. I'm going to be showing you guys. One of my designers like ended up booking like almost like literally an NBA cheerleaders event like celebrity style booking her dream client like you'll get to know her story oh, oh. <laughs> you look so pretty <laughs> thanks how are you i'm good how are you i'm doing well you're so cute i love the makeup the background look at you <laughs> <laughs> um, a video will come out and I'll let her speak her testimony because in four months she went from $85 to booking a $900 balloon garland like it's unreal when your results are shining and you're getting clients and you're getting people to pay and it's just like it's like a natural high I'm in a different mental space so my designers are getting results but that's because I believe in what I do and they're believing it so I'm co we're both co-creating our own reality and it's flourishing you know some people are a little slower but they're moving i don't care if you're moving at a slow pace so i'm really in a good place i again i have to go because i should be leaving in five minutes but i'm here talking to you guys but that's just because like i haven't done anything when it comes to you guys i miss you i love and miss you guys and trust and believe more business stuff but i wanted to take you guys along on this very short video again it's not looking like it's a short video but i'll probably edit a lot of this stuff out um with me so that way you know i'm still here i'm always on instagram so if you guys want to ever like get real updates follow me there because i'm there all every day along with my facebook group for event designers where i really talk now all right so i really have to go and we shall see what comes out of this Put my hair cute well not really right there put a little a little makeup i am not a makeup cart person and i'll show you guys my my little cute outfit once i get dressed so this is my outfit I got this from Amazon for like $16. Cute with some leggings and some flats.
Okay, so I'm always awkward with like, photo shoots and I try not to be, but yeah, sometimes it can be a little awkward for me. Because, um, it's funny because, sorry, my hair is just a little crazy. Um, we ended up going to this place and everyone really loved it. Like, if you have like a little search like i don't know instagram backdrops in your cities like it's definitely worth it because um that's exactly what it was so the pictures are gonna be so cute and i'm just such an awkward person in front of a camera when someone else is behind that lens when i'm by myself i'm feeling myself like right now come okay girl two snaps but in front of people that gotta we gonna work on that we gonna work on the confidence in the building and really feeling myself and being proud of who i am but overall the wall crawl the photo shoot was really cool we ended up going on this parking garage and we got a few shots there but then i kind of lost my mojo so she's like girl relax and i'm like uh. like you would think it would be fine because i am with my cousin but still the same I still feel awkward <laughs> a lot of people say oh don't worry about you know websites and lo logos but obviously I do you eventually do but your number one thing is first get money in your business I would recommend finding someone who's just starting out who needs to develop their portfolio and then you work with them and be on the lookout for future videos. I told you one of my designers had phenomenal success in a month. And it's ridiculous. So I'm going to let her share her story. I and mean, you guys can go follow her and support her. She actually just went viral on TikTok. <laughs> Over 300,000 views on her videos. So when I tell y'all this, this coaching program that I got going on works. I'm not trying to sell. But I'm, I'm just letting you know. If you want to make changes in your event business. Why not? It's 2021. Time is transformation. Stop waiting for tomorrow. Stop waiting that you say, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll buy you when I have money. Why not invest a little bit and then get the money back? The power of investing in yourself is monumental. And when I see the designers that I coach make such huge gains, small wins, medium wins, just changes and they thank me for it i almost feel like it's not really me but my strategies do work you know even if i didn't do it in my business i try to fi figure out what's the best way to get you guys results in those clients quickly because if you want to build a business just know there are going to be challenges but when you want it bad enough when you want it like nothing else, where you eat, sleep, drink, think about it all day. I have a designer, four o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, all right, girl, I ain't promoting that. You need to take some rest. But she's hungry for it. And the hungrier you are, the more likely you'll see faster results. It's almost inevitable. She already had a 1K month, you know, in her business selling personalized decor. So we're trying to, act, you know, get that up. Because when you put yourself first, when you invest in yourself, when you don't think about how much this is cost, it's not cost, it's an investment. It's investment to know you learn from someone else. You pay for their convenience, you pay for their strategies, you pay for their plan, and you pay for results. And that's what I offer in my coaching program. You tend to live in your own reality and co-create it. So if you blame other things, like if you blame other clients, like, oh, they're the reason why I can't find them. They think I'm too expensive. No, don't even entertain that. No, just like, what am I doing wrong? What am I? How am I marketing? Why aren't I getting my dream clients? Why aren't I? What am I doing wrong? That's what a CEO does. Remember, employee CEOs, you want to make sure you are not acting like the employee. Your always number one role is a CEO. You might have to be a designer. You might have to be an employee technically on paper, but you are the CEO, the chief executive officer, business owner, entrepreneur, badass, <laughs> regardless of who you are. 
you you have to act like it you have to sit up straight and analyze what are we doing wrong and how do we change it that's problem solving thinking that's not making excuses so if you're serious about it i would love to have you in my program if not that's okay too but make sure you're trying to find someone that's going to help you develop those skills and what you need oh look at her legs <laughs> You want to be in my vlog? <laughs> Where are you going? What? What are you doing? I'm vlogging. I'm doing a new video. I'm about to leave too. I just got done. Home. I just got done. Put your face. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I love you. Hello. You're supposed to say I love you too. <laughs> All right. So. That's all the lessons I have. Make sure you guys are designing your dreams into reality. Don't stop until you make it because your future self will think. And act like your future self, right? What would your future self do? Would they DIY it or pay for someone to get it done faster so that way they can make more money? You decide. <laughs>